this point, midway through the year, the overall picture for stocks and bonds has been relatively favorable for investors. Mike Taggart of Naveen is here with us to share his view of the closed-end fund market. Mike, how are closed-end funds doing and what's the outlook for the rest of the year? So far, 2017 has been a really good year for closed-end funds. Most of the segments uh, have positive NAV returns, positive price returns. I mean, there are, there are a few exceptions, one of them being the MLP uh, C-Core segment, which is uh, down about double digits on average. Um, and that just has to do with uh, weakness in, in its segment, you know, in, in the underlying assets. So. What potential areas of opportunity appear on your radar screen? Well, with closed-end funds, I think there are always areas of opportunity depending on what opportunity investors are looking for. So, you know, um, for instance, if you are looking for tax-exempt income, there are still quite a few closed-end funds that are offering around 6% uh, tax-exempt yield, and that's before you do a tax equivalency. And in the taxable bond space, um, you know, there are funds that are trading at wide discounts and offering distribution yields of about, you know, around 9%. Um, the MLPC corp sector, uh, they're offering distribution yields from you know nine to say twelve percent. Do you anticipate that discounts will continue to narrow, and how may that affect the closed-end fund market if they do? So so far in 2017, discounts have pretty much, I'd say, gone sideways overall for closed-end funds. I mean, right about right now they're at about their 10-year average which is about a um, minus four and a half percent discount overall. It's my longstanding view that discounts and premiums are kind of, you know, investors make too much of them when it comes to closed-end fund investing. What are your parting suggestions for closed-end fund investors? So I think, you know, as always, closed-end fund investors, my view is that they should invest, you know, for the long term and that, you know, find, first find a fund that fits into your portfolio, fit, meets your investment objectives, you know, with a good manager, good long-term track record. And if you happen to find it at a, at a decent discount, decent valuation, all the better.